Right. Take three. Yes. Let's try this again once, shall we? Uh, quick video. I went to town, got some pickups today. Uh, dress elephant in the room. Yes, this looks like the same shirt I've been wearing for the past few days. I have about four or five of them. So, as you can tell, this doesn't have little white marks or bits of hair or anything on it. It's all good. Yes. Me putting on clean clothes, eh? What's with that? Uh, clean clothes, huh? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, awkwardness out the way. Where are they? I had them a minute ago. Oh, yeah, I put them over here, didn't I? Right, so only three things. In a Poundland, did a click and collect order with CEX. Lovely staff in our local. Uh, CEX, I did a click and collect order, but my phone battery died. So just before it did, I got the order number, clicked the doorbell, mentioned it to him, and he was like, it's no problem. You wait out here, I'll bring it out once it's ready. So, very nice people. Um, first Poundland. Zootropolis. Very funny film, apparently. Mrs. Loves It. I've seen the clip of the fox and the bunny telling the sloth the joke. That's about it. It's quite funny. I laughed at that, so I'm expecting to laugh at this. It's brand new at £2. It's the only one I've ever seen there, so... Bargain. Next is part of the Monsterverse. I bought the DVD way back when off of someone on Facebook so there we go. let's see if it will focus this time here we go um, Kong Skull Island digital codes in it I'm pretty sure it will work but I uh, already have it on digital so yeah uh, I enjoyed this movie I enjoyed Godzilla I enjoyed Godzilla King's King of the Monsters and if you like the old school Godzilla movies, then I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy this. If you like Peter Jackson's King Kong as well, you'll definitely enjoy that. And there's been multiple King Kong movies. And last but not least, I found a copy in the local CEX, so I thought, why not? Finally upgrade to Blu-ray. Uh, you'll have to let me know down in the comments down below if this has different special features to the DVD because it's going to be a little while before I stack it but let me know and yeah I'll um, decide then whether to keep the DVD or not because it happens you get a blu-ray and you find out that it has maybe one or two new special features but then none of the old special features or it has no special features which is the case with, I've said it before, I'll say it again. It usually goes into a rant when I talk about special features on Blu-rays. Uh, the Highlander End game is slightly longer, but with different extended scenes in the Blu-ray. But it has maybe, I think, one special feature and none of the others from the DVD. So I've kept the DVD of it. So yeah, there's this. Glad to finally have it on Blu-ray. Up tomorrow, there's going to be another video. This is the 31st of March, so I'll be putting this up tonight. And then tomorrow, I've got 288 films. Um, films coming. 288 films. Films coming. Um, one's been out for a while, and one has literally today been released. So, looking forward to it. Nope, already there. Right, so, remember, not for today, tomorrow, big old smile. This button if you liked the video, this button if you didn't. If you're a subscriber or not, I appreciate you. You watch my content, I appreciate you. Um, question for the video. Wesley Snipes movies, I've got them next to me. What's your favourite one? Um, I'm going to go with Passenger 57. I need to find out whether it's had a Blu-ray release in the UK. What's your favourite? I pretty much guess what a lot of people are going to say. But, you know, I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to wait and see. But, take it easy everyone. And I'll see you tomorrow.